Hey guys, it's Kara Salinor. I wasn't gonna upload a video this week, which I can assume you expected because this is being uploaded on a Tuesday. I usually upload on weekends. I was going to film a cover last minute, but I ended up just not caring, and I'm assuming you guys didn't care either. So instead of uploading a video this weekend, I binge watched a TV show, which you may or may not have heard of, called Young Royals. For the past three weeks, I've had some of my friends on Tumblr message me and say like, oh my god, you would love this TV show, it has every single one of your favorite tropes. And after like a lot of convincing, since I don't binge watch TV shows, or even like watch TV shows really, I finally said, okay, fine, I'll do it. And oh my god, I have so many thoughts that I just need to get off my chest. So here I am, not even 24 hours since I finished the show, sitting in front of my closet, ready to film a video essay. Let's get started. Before I start this video, I want to do a quick thank you to my best friend Ava, who I know is going to be watching this video because she had to listen to all my Young Royals rants this past weekend, and she's the one who actually inspired me to make this into a video. So thank you for your patience, I love you so much. This show was advertised to me incorrectly. As I said earlier, my friends on Tumblr are the ones that actually got me to watch this show in the first place. Thanks guys. Here is how they describe the show to me. Ahem. So this prince named Wilhelm gets in like a fight or something and he goes to this boarding school where he meets this guy named Simon who basically hates the royal family and Wilhelm is like, oh my god, marry me. And they fall in love and obviously have to keep their relationship a secret. Also, Wilhelm is hot. That's a pretty good description. I clicked on the first episode fully expecting to watch a love story between these two people, which I got, but not really. If anything, this show is about Wilhelm. He's the main plot. I've only seen people talk about Wilhelm and Simon, which I completely understand because they are adorable. But if I was to explain this plot to someone, I would probably mention Simon like once. The show is about Wilhelm. Let's read the description of the show from Google. <clears throat> Prince Wilhelm adjusts to life at his prestigious new boarding school, but following his heart proves more challenging than anticipated. That's how I would describe it. So Carrie, what's your point? I don't really know what my point is. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Of course, the plot line with Wilhelm and Simone is important. I'm not saying it's completely irrelevant. It's just not the main plot. And you may be like, well, duh, he's the one on the poster, isn't he? Or you may disagree with me and argue that the main plot is Simone and Wilhelm's relationship. But I think it's about Wilhelm. I need to talk about this. In the first five minutes, we've already been told a lot about Wilhelm's character. He gets in this fight at his school and he has to issue a public statement saying that he won't do it again and he's going to this other boarding school. After he says this, he looks right at the camera, right at it. It's for like one second. It's the quickest shot ever, but I have not stopped thinking about it for four days. I have rewatched this shot so many times and I never knew why. Why was I doing this? It's like this one second shot that like, I'm sure people just saw and thought, oh, that's kind of cool and then moved on. But I was sitting here in my bed, rewatching it a thousand times and just being like, wow, why was I doing that? Well, last night when I finished the show, I figured it out. It's the way that the look makes you feel. I explained it best in this video that I sent Ava. Um, Cause like, of course the actor is amazing. So he does a really great job at like making you feel like you are being watched even though you're the one watching him. He makes you feel like you are being watched, even though you're the one watching him. It makes you feel uncomfortable, doesn't it? No one likes being watched. Of course, there are people that are like attention seekers and like attention, but that's different. If someone was watching your every move all the time, you wouldn't like it. You would like some privacy. Everyone likes privacy every now and then. Being in the public eye and having everything you're doing being recorded and published is anything but enjoyable, especially for a teenager who's just trying to figure himself out. That is what Wilhelm has to deal with in the show. That's the plot. The show is about Wilhelm. <laughs> Everything just gets worse for Wilhelm from here. Of course, there are some good things, like he meets Simon, who he literally falls in love with. And then he makes some friends, I guess. Other than that, it's pretty shit. His brother, one of the two people he feels like he can actually trust and be himself with, dies. He's confused about his feelings for Simone. There's the drug scandal. And of course, 
the sex tape leak. You might believe it was the sex tape leak that finally broke Wilhelm's little calculated mind. I don't think so. It definitely took a toll on him and brought him even further to the edge of just completely falling to pieces, but there was something else. Of course, Felice shows him that it was August who leaked the video. Carrie, was it him finding out it was his own cousin who leaked the tape, the thing that finally broke him? No, there's more. It's when he tells his mother that it was his own cousin who leaked the tape. And she tells him that she knew that. She knew it was August who leaked the tape, but she didn't do anything about it. She didn't even tell Wilhelm because she knew how he would react. His own mother. This is when he realizes that his mom, the queen, is not someone he can trust or someone who will be by his side no matter what. She doesn't even care about him. She only cares about his status. He had already lied to the press that it wasn't him in the video. You can't really blame him. I mean, Simone doesn't even really blame him. He kind of does, but like, he also kind of doesn't. <laughs> but it's when this conversation with his mother happens shortly after that something inside him shifts and he starts listening to his own voice. That is a very key piece of information to think about when we talk about the hug. Ah yes, the hug. The one that made me violently sob. This hug is only the starting point of Wilhelm finding his own voice. His mom tells him that he should not see Simon at all to avoid any other things getting leaked or any other rumors starting. And you know what Wilhelm does with these instructions? Hug Simon in front of a big group of people. And it's not just a bro hug, okay? This was a full on embrace. I timed it. They hugged for 28 seconds. That is almost half a minute. And while they were hugging, Wilhelm just said the L word. He pulls away from the hug before Simone can even say it back, but I don't think he was expecting to hear it back. I think it was just him being vulnerable with him and telling him how he feels before he leaves. Just getting it off his chest. And I respect it. Oh, my beloved followers. When this breaking of the fourth wall happened again, you best believe I lost my shit. After the hug, Wilhelm gets in his car to leave. And the last shot of the entire season is Wilhelm looking right at the camera once again. This is the second time this has happened. And it's the last thing we see. And you best believe I have some thoughts. Let's look back at the description from Google. <clears throat> Prince Wilhelm adjusts to life at his prestigious new boarding school, but following his heart proves more challenging than anticipated. The show is called Young Royals because Wilhelm is a young royal. Because the show is about Wilhelm. Can we just go back to what I said in part three? No one likes being watched. Of course, there are people that are like attention seekers and like attention, but that's different. If someone was watching your every move all the time, you wouldn't like it. You would like some privacy. Everyone likes privacy every now and then. Being in the public eye and having everything you're doing being recorded and published is anything but enjoyable, especially for a teenager who is just trying to figure himself out. That is what Wilhelm has to deal with in the show. That's the plot. The show is about Wilhelm. <laughs> no one likes being watched. Wilhelm is being watched all the time. He's a young royal. I mean, like, we see it all the time. Royals leaving the royal family or celebrities retiring or trying to stay out of the public eye because it's just too much. The expectations, how you look, how you act, people literally debating your every decision and watching everything you do. This 17 year old, a literal child, is stuck with all eyes on him all the time. When Wilhelm looks at the camera in this final shot, he makes you feel guilty. You saw everything he did. You saw him grieve, you saw him love, you saw him blame, you saw him have sex, you've seen everything. And then that look that he gives you right in the camera makes you feel like you shouldn't have seen it. At least that's how I felt. You can say I'm looking into this too deeply, but when like characters break the fourth wall and like look in a camera or even talk to the audience, there's gonna be a reason behind it. And that's my theory. If Netflix doesn't renew this show, I'm literally suing. So 
what do I want you to walk away with after you've watched this video essay? I have no clue. I shared so many of my thoughts and opinions in this probably under 10 minute video. I have no idea what the moral of the story is. This show is about Wilhelm. I said that a lot. I feel guilty because of the camera thing. Hey, if you're gonna have sex with your secret boyfriend in your school dorm, close the blinds maybe. Just an option, you should probably do it. It would probably avoid a whole scandal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.